In this tutorial, we're going to look at the different color correction and color manipulation tools in Raya Pro. So in the first panel where it says digital blending, we go down to color. And the first thing we can do is correct the colors in our image by choosing autocorrect. And this often does a very good job of removing color cast. However, if in your image you find it didn't work particularly well, instead you can go to manual correct. And at first this seems a bit confusing, but I'll show you how to use it. Essentially, we're going to teach Photoshop what our grey point is in our image, and Photoshop will correct the colours around that. The first thing we need to do is go to our eyedropper tool, here, and right click, and choose Colour Sampler. Then we need to open up our threshold layer, and bring it down to 1, and then slowly move it along, and we'll see some areas turn black in our image and these areas represent our grey point. So with the color sampler tool selected we just press once on the black area. Then we can make these two layers invisible, open up a levels adjustment layer, choose the grey eyedropper tool and simply click on the area that is considered our grey point and you'll see that we've manually removed the blue color cast in our image. And if you find the changes are too strong, you can just reduce the opacity of this layer until you're happy. The next tool we'll look at is Color Adjust. Now, this is a great little tool for adjusting the brightness of the colors in our image. And essentially, we just open this up, and if we want to darken the sky because we'd like to add more drama to it, we can choose Cyan's, which is the color of the sky, and just darken the sky like that and we add much more drama to our image. And we can make these adjustments with any part of our image. Next we have a very simple black and white conversion tool which uses the same function as color adjust. If we just open that up we can adjust the brightness of our black and white conversion by color range. And exploring the color options further if we go to enhancements we can see down the bottom vivid colors. And essentially this is going to give our colors a nice boost. So if we choose all, you'll see it increases the saturation of all the colors in our image. We can choose to give individual colors a boost as well. So we have greens, cyans, reds, yellows, magentas, and blues. And if we just press blue, we'll see that our image has become much more saturated. If we want, we can do the opposite. We can desaturate the colors in our image by going down to desaturate colors and choosing all. And again, we can be very specific and just desaturate certain colors in our image. If we want to be more experimental, we can play with the warm and cold buttons at the bottom here. For example, if I choose blue shadows, we'll inject some cold tones into our shadows for a more futuristic look. If we choose warm shadows, that'll do the complete opposite and it'll give our image a slightly warmer, yellower feel. If we want, we can add general warmth to our image by choosing the general warmth button. And it's usually very strong, so we can bring the opacity down if we wish. And finally, we can add warmth to our highlights just by choosing warm highlights. And those are the color enhancements that you'll find in Raya Pro.